What's up, you bloody tampon eating bitch twats? Yeah, I'm McStud. <laughs> Mrs. McStud, that's gross. Yeah, high five for that. And I'm the Nasty. Mexican. The Mexican, ready to eat a bloody tampon. Go ahead and pull it out, babe. Ew. What? What? That's gross. I'll pull it out with my teeth. <laughs> I don't have my red wings. I don't either. And I don't ever plan on getting my red wings. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, anyways, motherfuckers, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. It's wrist jerk Wednesday for some of us. <laughs> Mexican. <clears throat> um. <laughs> I don't think you've done a video with us since you had your new uh, hand get up there. No. He got his, get up? Yeah, he got his cast off. Now he's got his hand job supporter. My splint? Well, they call it, you know how they call it athletic supporters that support your cock and balls? Yeah. Yeah, that's your hand job supporter because it supports the hand that jerks your cock. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Cheers to that, Mrs. McStud. Do you have your athletic supporter on? I don't need one. Do women have to wear athletic supporters? No. No? They need to like wear a cup in case they get kicked in the snatch. Well, I mean, I think some people do, but other people don't. Softball? Maybe, no. Well, that's a whole fucking mess. Anyways, I'm going to start with two questions, but I'm going to start with Mrs. McStud. Mrs. McStud, how was your day? It sucked, but it was okay. Oh. I already got that lit. Oh. God damn, I'm, you I'm, trying to catch one of those I'm on over fire. here. I'm like starting a video and shit. Y'all, I got your cigarettes lit and everything. I'm with my bottle and I'm like, my bad. Hey, hey, look. Don't trip, but I got you. You thought you were grabbing him. <laughs> I thought you were going to grab my <laughs> dick. I need a light. <laughs> you know what? I always light all my bitches' cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for I thought that. You were, I thought you were leading me into that one. I did. Yes. Because <laughs> I told him that. <laughs> ghetto fabulous, isn't it? And ghetto fucking fabulous. I just go with the row. That's or right. I go with the flow. <laughs> That's right. So your day sucked, Mr. McStay? I was busy. Why? Cause I fucking worked. Like, <laughs> is that enough? Yeah, I just had to fucking throw that out there. Oh, I thought uh, he was having a blonde moment. Well, no, I was being—I right. was just asking stupid questions. Cause that's what we do on the show. Uh, did anything exciting happen to you today, Mr. No. No pussy destroyers. I don't know. Can you feel it? No. Okay, then there was no pussy destroyers. <laughs> <laughs> there was something that did happen, she said just a little bit ago. She got rained on. <laughs> so, here's, the, say here's the deal. The car we have, the driver's side I window, doesn't, it's off track. Okay. And we got it propped up. But we looked, both him and I looked at the forecast last night. There was supposed to be no rain, so we left the window halfway down. Because it's very fucking hot, because the air conditioning didn't work. Um, I got you. I got shaved my balls. Uh, so, fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we wake up, and I get her ready to go to work and shit. We go outside, and it has rained. So then we go find a towel, put down on the seat. Then it was a whole motherfucking mess. And she got rained on all the way to work. <laughs> then you. Yes. What a fucking I mess. Make it Starbucks, though. Yes, you did have me on I had to wait, though. I had to wait on it. Still, for as early as I ordered it. When I, I te texted you and was like, it's raining. Can you please order me Starbucks? Yeah. I was almost on 600. And I started away on it. You got a pube on your arm? No, my fucking arm hurts right there. Hand jobs. What's uh. that? Is that normal? <laughs> Ken, what the fuck? Dude. This is from when I fell with Heather. I mean, for real. That's a knot. I know. Dude. You better not mention it again. What is I'm just that? kidding. I, that's fucked up. A knot. It feels like a bite. I always thought it looked like a bite after that night, you know, because it had that red spot in the middle. I wonder if you didn't get bitten by like a spider or something on the floor. No, it had a, it had a scab on it. Like, yeah, that'll do that. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it'll do that? What? If you get bit by something, it can cause a scab and oh. a knot. It's like a sting. For real? Yes. Okay. So maybe it wasn't, maybe that wasn't a bruise from anyone. Maybe you got bit by something that night laying on the floor. That'd be a Leslie moment. That is a, Les, that is a Leslie moment. 
All right, so I've asked Mr. McStud how her day was. Mr. Mexican, yeah. how was your day? Uh, let, me think, let me think about this a minute. Because I've really got some slick shit to say. Mm. You have to think about it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he's at Jeopardy too. Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. It was uh, stressful. Uh, oh. It was people trying to be lazy. Oh, like we were discussing just a little bit ago? Yes. Oh, that shit. See, our kid for PG. Hmm. Well, yeah, you did keep a PG. That's good. Uh, did anything exciting happen to you today? Yeah, actually, actually, it <laughs> did. So, <laughs> on my way to an auction, mm -hmm. my retarded ass fell asleep, and I went yes. off the road and go feel a little bit. <laughs> Wait, I knew you said you almost wrecked. I didn't know you went off the road into a field. Yeah, a bit. yeah, I almost hit the tree. Anyway. Damn. I was able to wake up. I bet after that, your butthole's probably puckered. No. <clears throat> yeah. Did he wake you up? Mine did. No, he was busy on his phone. I like those out for a minute. And you know how my truck... Jerks? Go yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this motherfucking bitch, my truck. <laughs> this side to say, fuck you, you does out behind the wheel, something will fuck your world up today. Went into a bit, almost hit a tree, woke up before I hit a tree, and swerved like a muffo, got it back on the road. And then I took a drink of my coffee. <laughs> Did you Why have the trailer? No, not today. Why was you so tired? Dude, I don't know what it is, but oh. I am not sleeping. Do you need do you need a cuddle buddy? I got a flashlight. The light turns on in the middle of the night. You know what I need? What's that? <laughs> Since you just stepped into this, yes. what I need is for you to just lay back and open your mouth and just fuck your mouth. Damn. That's what I need. That's called skull fucking. Hey, I've been told fucking. that before. Mm. You like a good skull fucking. I want to skull fuck you. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. <laughs> That's a pickup line. Yes. Wait a minute. I want to skull fuck you. What'd I mean, you do? I'm going to sweep the floor. No. Oh my god, we ain't doing that today. Uh -uh. But, anyway. At least you're safe. Yes, I drank that cappuccino. Mm -hmm. like that ain't coffee. That shit, look, I was jittery as hell. It has espresso in it. I don't really drink coffee, but when I do, mm -hmm. wash the fuck out. Why? Or cappuccino, cause I get real jittery, mm -hmm. and then I gotta go drop the uh, deuce. Deuces. Coffee will do that. I got craving. With like, <clears throat> what's that? Within like minutes. <laughs> Frosty. Damn. That does sound good. I'm really you afraid. You shouldn't even said that. <laughs> I told Lexi that at, at uh, Kroger. Uh, I have to get that. Uh, Come on, they, lunch. Yeah, there you go. It's right in the cross. Well, the I don't get a lunch right now. Damn, this week that. sucks. It's been a rough week for Miss Mixed Out Work. Uh, extremely busy. I couldn't get to the fucking microwave earlier. I was starving because I didn't eat dinner. Oh, shit, I gotta tell you something. Oh, yeah. While I was up there. Where? At the auction. Uh huh. I seen a dude barefooted. Oh, yeah. Trying to take interviews. Interviews? Yeah, he's just being a jackass. So, it's really weird. He was on his phone. Uh huh. Like, I don't know what y'all consider pussy destroyers. I've heard y'all talk about it. That's any guy with the shirt off doing something. Well, this dude was barefoot with a cut off shirt, with a hat, and, and cut off jean shorts, right? And <coughs> he was asking to take interviews. Mm hmm. And everybody kind of like, what the fuck ever, you retarded as fuck. Right. <laughs> then he got this one bitch. <laughs> no. And then he talked to this one short, stalky guy. He said, hey, I ain't into that. So he turns off his little thingamabobber. And he looks at me, he goes, is this the, uh, 
what do you call it? Something circle. Smokers? It's like a smoker circle. He said it was something that they done years ago. Yeah. He an old man. Older. Mm -hmm. Probably like his 50s or 60s. But he called it something. A cir circle jerk? <laughs> I don't think that's what it was. <coughs> but whatever it related to, you know what I mean? Yeah. I look at him and I'm like, uh, okay. I said, I don't really, really know what you're talking about, but yeah, we'll go with that. And he goes, oh, that's just where people come and smoke at. I'm like, yeah, that's what it'd be. Smoke a... A doobie? No. Just a cigarette? Yes. Smoking day? No. I don't do that shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you didn't say we're part of it. <laughs> uh, I know you do for a fact. Why are you telling my secrets, my boy? I ain't secret. Damn, you quote. Mm. He got, he got a pretty Ooh, mouth. Just when it comes to the chat. Well, he has a hard time swallowing pills, but he ain't got a problem swallowing his dick. Right? Uh, no comment. Damn. You know, I had a topic. As you were talking about the... Oh, the Pussy Destroyer. He would qualify as a Pussy Destroyer. Hold on your sock. Uh, no. I'm trying to... Oh, shit, I put that sock in the laundry. I forgot. I had a hole in it. No, I changed my socks. I made. I know. I was fucking oh, with you. Oh, God. I... Oh <laughs> I am on it today, and you guys are not. <laughs> you guys are both out of it like a motherfucker. I'm like uh, 10 shades of shortness right now. Like I'm on a quickness, and you guys are on the slow, you're on the slow escalator, <laughs> and I'm right. on the fast treadmill right now. Hey, I ain't denying it. You right. I am right. You know what? Because I'm always right. Isn't that rightness mixed up? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> so I was thinking. I'm always right. Hang on. I was thinking. I found... I found my mullet and our glasses and your hat. Okay, only 98% of the time, well, right? It's, it's, it's sometimes you're not. Um, but I found our gear and what the video's in. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking, he needs some gear. No, I'm he, going. You need a sombrero. Me? Yeah. I could deal with that. <laughs> I could what if we dress you up like a mariachi member? No. Too good. I'm just saying this for shits and giggles. No, I was talking about Oh. But we could uh, do that. Hey, you're at the same time you... Do I need to light my bitch a cigarette again? Probably. All right. I'm so... I got you. <laughs> it's only half lit. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's all there now. I don't know. <laughs> what have you drank tonight? Uh, really nothing. It's because you're tired. It hits harder. I drank two glasses of Malibu mm -hmm. and uh, juice. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I've took in two or three drinks of it. Took Took. Taken? Took. <laughs> Don't I listen to me. I ain't going uh, English. <laughs> I got my own Ebonics. I'm the English. Uh, Listen, expert here. that's all good. Grammar. She's that's quarantine, all good. Right? That's uh, all good. Right? She and society and uh, educated society, but in street life, it'd be what it'd be. It'd be ha. what it'd be. Right. Did you trademark that? Yes, I did. You need a shirt that says that. Be what it be. Or yeah. uh, right, it is what it is, and it be, be what, what it be. be. And that's you have to pay him. Yeah. If you say Straight it. Straight up. <laughs> all my first old me. All the broad side upstairs. No. I've used that expression Do you know since right I now? think I was like nine years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can go get them. I am not right now. I'm just wondering. It's just right there. I am 43 years old now. Malachi. I'm sorry. I'm not. Bad boy. I like it. Because you want me to tell you why? Yeah. Because this 43 old man can run circles around motherfuckers that are 19, 18, and younger. Right. Make them look stupid. This is true. Like, 
I think to myself. Oh, well. See, I'm glad we were, we about to hit this motherfucking base real quick. All right, let's do this. I don't know how other people feel about this, but it's really sad when you have older people working around. What I mean by around, faster. The guys have their age mm -hmm. and younger. Right. And like I'm trying, I'm really trying to be really respectful when I say this. <laughs> but damn, I don't understand how we, like I'm a parent, you a parent, how we are supposed to. Now we raise our kids how we raise our kids. Right. You know, and I got four, and they're all productive. You know what I mean? They all work. Yeah. Hell. Miss Get over here. You gonna pull my shorts down? Damn. My oldest daughter, she has. She has two jobs and she goes to college. I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? But a male, I would. She goes to college in the morning. She works at a nursing home, what? Why? and then on you her days off on the nursing home, she works at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Proud Sit of down. I'm. He's talking. Yeah. Proud of it. I mean, you know you're trying to be rude. But you ain't rude. We didn't I just don't understand, like the the mentality of kids today. Mm -hmm. They they want to be lazy. They don't want to work. They don't want to do nothing you but play video games. games. Mm -hmm. And stroke them up on dicks. I mean, basically. Yeah. And then when they get of age and they got to go out and get a job. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying all of them. Because there are parents out there that still believe in culture, history, all that jazz. Mm -hmm. But you got a lot of these motherfucking kids that just don't want to do anything. They just want to be lazy. And when they right. have to get out on their own, because mom and dad's not taking care of them. Mm -hmm. Then they struggle. Mm -hmm. I think, and this goes back to what we talked about a while back about kids having kids, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of these parents just throwing them out on the street. You're like, well, you got knocked up. You, you on your own now. No, you should embrace those kids and teach them. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying hard for them, but it's be there for them and give them advice mm -hmm. so that they can be productive themselves and be able to teach their kids the right way. You know what I mean? Right. And that's pretty much where I'm at. Like, I don't understand. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm scared for this younger generation. <laughs> for every month, look, Social Security, gone. Right. It'll be gone. Back in the day, for every one person working, helped out in that Social Security. You know how many motherfuckers I'm working for for their social security? Too many. Uh, a four to five, mm -hmm. I believe. I'm not quoting that. You know what I mean? That's just what I feel. Yes. And this younger generation is what we're supposed to look at. Mm -hmm. And we're supposed to look at them for our help when we get out of it. Mm -hmm. We fucked. No ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah. We fuck. Because you got these kids that don't want to work, that don't want to do what they should do. Mm -hmm. And our. We're just going downhill. Let's just be real about it. We're right. going downhill. Like. With everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm scared. Not like. Not scared for me. I do, you know what I mean? But for the kids, mm -hmm. I'm scared. Yeah. Because they have no idea the struggles they're getting ready to face when right. they become adults. And if they don't want to accept responsibility at a young age, my mom and dad got divorced when I was six. So responsibility came on to me quick. Now, I'm not going to say I was perfect and I was an angel, because hell no. I'm None gonna, of us were. I mean, I did my thing. <laughs> You know what I mean? Right. But I did have a job. Mm -hmm. And I worked. And I accepted two kids that wasn't mine and raised them as my own. And they are mine. 
-hmm. And anybody who has anything to say against that, come and see me. You know what I mean? Right. So, but I am scared for the kids coming up because they have no idea what they're in store for. True story. You got a question, though. You got to answer. For both of you. What do you guys think about high powered penis pumps? Never used one. What's your opinion? I don't think I've ever used one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should hope not, but damn. <laughs> it was just a question, you know, it's like throw, throw you off. You know, it's just what I do. What am I good at? Maybe. Bringing them. Confusing the fuck out of you. Well, you didn't confuse me. I'm confused all the time. Mm -hmm. That was like a, a weird question. <laughs> why? Because why the fuck <laughs> would you want to use a penis pump? I have no idea either, but I thought it would be fucked up to ask. Why? I like the shock value in my questions sometimes. But that really was not shock. That was like to me, maybe it's because I'm old, but if I can't do what I need to do mm -hmm. to a female with what I got, mm -hmm. then fuck it. All right, well, let's flip the script. What about high-powered anal pumps? Uh, again, you got me fucked up. Uh, didn't we work with a fellow that utilized a anal balloon? A balloon. Uh, I don't know who you're referring to. Oh, yes, yes you, you do. do. I did. Oh, is it that one dude I told you about that stuck the bottle in his ass and that used a diamond, uh, diamond bit to put a hole in it so it, like... So. I didn't know about this. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I never knew he done that. Oh, wow. yeah. He was so excited because it got up to seven pumps with a balloon. Like, I know that he used to, in his shower, he had a rope that he would tie around his neck and he'd milk his prostate. Autoerotic asphyxiation. Yes. Prostate Wait. Muscle. That's not, that's too big of a word. That's what it's called. It's called autoerotic asphyxiation. Remember David Carradine, Hold the on. old kung fu guy? No. Can remember you, kung fu back in the day, the old guy who was in Kill Bill? What does that mean? Autoerotic asphyxiation? Yeah. It's where you I know it's uh choking yourself. Some people a lot of people have died from this. Like they put themselves in like a hanging position. And so it's like choking them and they jerk off while they're getting uh, choked, technically. But he what? would shove shit in his ass. That's great. Hold on. My mind can't work that way. <laughs> Autoerotic asphyxiation. It's not kinky unless you're with another person. Give her about two minutes and she'll be like, oh, that's fucked up. And start laughing. <laughs> this Auto might be too. Autoerotic. Autoerotic. Autoerotic asphyxiation. 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 That, <laughs> However, I say it is choking. I'm going to have to text you that so you can, like, practice it. <laughs> Autoerotic asphyxiation. I wonder if women do that, like they're hanging themselves up and it's like plow themselves with a dildo while they're choking. I've I'm only heard of dudes doing it. I'm sure there's porn somewhere. But I've only heard of dudes that's, doing it, not that women. women do it, I'm sure. Uh, it's a pretty wild thing though. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on that either. Because I mean, women take horse cocks and shit on porn. So. How do you feel about that? Huh? How, how's the horse cock feel? Uh, ain't no horse cock going to ever... Uh, I can't take that. Yeah. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? You're supposed to let it rip. The fuck I am. <laughs> ripping good. and the tearing, the ripping and the tearing. Negative. Now, the Mexican will. He's not the first time he has stitches in his ass. Uh, I ain't got no prison pocket. Oh, wait a pocket. It's a wallet. That's where you keep all the important stuff, like my goo. I ain't got no. My corn syrup. Goes right in the prison wallet. No. And you save that shit for later. You you fart it out and you put what's it in the glass. What's that one word? Roast beef pussy? No. Oh. That was some nasty shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit about made me gag. <laughs> I mean, like I, what I'm, the fuck, dude? Like I'm I, I'm in a I'm in a predicament here because I'm actually curious of what she said, but I'm happy that I fucked you up in the head. Oh. Uh, no, you showed Ray, me that your shit. Ass. <laughs> your ass is in the camera. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you showed me that shit. Uh huh. That was nice. Yeah. Like. W w Does it look like a roast beef sandwich? <laughs> no. You could put some horsey sauce on that shit. It was nice. It was nice. 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 Hang on. Hang on. I'll add all my bitches' cigarettes. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck about you in a minute. I know you will. <laughs> I, I I be scared. Uh, now what was the one word you were talking about before we got on the rescue? Hold on. I was walking in downtown Indy and you said it. I said it out loud. All these guys fucking just turn around because I didn't know what the fuck it meant. Oh. Was it a fluff? Fluffer. No, uh, Rim job. Fluffer. 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 You know what a fluffer is, right? Yeah. That's a person that works in porn that lubricates women's vaginas and helps keep dudes' dicks hard during. And he goes, scenarios. "Do you need a fluffer?" Hey, and I said, "A fluffer? What?" Listen, in all honesty, dude, I've never heard of that, but I will tell you this. Oh shit! Come to your ears, please. No, she. I'm gonna knock you outside the face. I have fucked a girl so much that her pussy went dry, so I had to lick it. Just to stick it back in. <laughs> or your own personal fluffer. Now, the porn, they got other people to do that shit for them. Yeah, I ain't got that. <sighs> that happens. Uh, I guess. Um. Oh, true story. <laughs> well. Uh, that could be a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Not when you're enjoying it. She should have. <laughs> she should have an automatic. Right? Uh, how would you feel if that happened to you? I'd be done for the day. <laughs> no, hey, I'm done. No! But I've always... That came out of my fluffer comment? I've always made, uh... I've always messed with older people. I was 16 banging two 32-year-old women. Damn. Yeah. That's quick. Well, I drank it. Sure. Sure. Not bad, 27 minutes. You did a good job. How many fucking time would be? No, we always check the time when we're doing oh, beverages. I was like, I, I, I don't ever time I you. I said it was a crash for time. <laughs> um, if I dress up like Lysandra, will you bang me? Who? Lysandra. My female character? Hi, I'm Lysandra. I got titties. Oh, shit! And then large clitoris. No, stop. Oh, fuck. You just reminded me of something. Today. Oh, shit. Here we go. So, I was at my buddy's house at his fruit and vegetable stand, right? Mm -hmm. Truck comes up. See this individual get out of it. Individual. Yeah, I'm going to say individual <laughs> because it <laughs> fucked my world up. we seen that at the nail place at the liquor store. <laughs> no shit, Remember dude. That? Like, I promise. I high, heels, high heels. High heels. <laughs> Leggings, a skirt, and a shirt with some boobs. Blonde, dirty blonde hair. Built like, just like a dude. <laughs> Mike right? Tyson? No, like a dude. Heavy set, like me. Yeah. Heavy set dude. You know what I mean? You ain't heavy set. And I was like, man, this is a dude. No, wait, hold on. I could be wrong. It might be a chick. And then it spoke. And I'll be goddamn if it wasn't a motherfucking man. <laughs> and then it spoke there with. Hold up. <laughs> so I was really trying to keep focus on what I was doing. Because I was like, oh my god, what the fuck did I just get into? So his lover gets out the passenger side. <laughs> yeah, we were good with individuals and then we just kind of went to a fucking. Well, you know, it is what it one. is. I gotta tell you about this shit. All right, you should tell him about the. The, the it at the nursing home. So, he gets out the car, right? And he goes straight to the corn. Wait, hold <laughs> up. No, for real. No, stop. Listen. Hold up. Listen, he goes, he goes straight to the corn. He says, I was asleep. <laughs> he goes, he goes, hey, babe, how much corn you want? To the, to the, to the, the it. The, the individual. Yeah, PG. It to the individual. He says, hey, babe, how much corn we need? He said, go ahead and get a dozen. 
And like that fucked me up because I'm like, yeah, these motherfuckers are about to go fucking budge back here a little bit. With and the corn on the cob. Right. <laughs> and then that made me think of you. <laughs> but I was like, oh shit, I gotta make sure I tell Chad about this. Oh, on video, thank you. I, mean, I, I try to avoid these, these kind of topics on <laughs> that show. I, I but we have uh, we, you hey, just. Hey, but guess what? Yep. Then it comes out cream corn. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. High five, this is McStud. Holy shit. Yeah, it was bad. Dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, but the funny part was, the guy that I'm helping out, my buddy, yeah. his uncle was out there and goes, man, that's a nice looking chick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I, after this the whole transaction was done, they got a cantaloupe and some uh, corn and they got some tomatoes. And I go back up there, he's like, uh, I was like, dude, that was a motherfucker. I said, that was a dude. He's like, what are you talking about? Because both of them came out. I was like, that long blonde hair chick, dirty blonde hair chick, that was a dude. And then he goes, hey, um, you probably ought to go get your mother one eyes checked because that was a dude. <laughs> He's like, well, I couldn't tell that was a dude for me. <laughs> Luke, you remember Austin Powers? Yes. And he's like, it's a man, baby. <laughs> it's a full hair off and it was like, dude. yeah, I always, yeah, I always think of that when that. Stuff like that. That's a man, baby. Yeah, that was some fucked up shit. <laughs> we saw a dude, an old guy, get out while they were getting their nails done in Fortville. And oh, with the, the fishnet. The ladies, nail place was or, connected to a liquor man. store. And this old dude gets out, and this man lady jumps out of the car with these fishnet stockings. Totally, totally dude. Totally wig. It was a prostitute. It had to be. And they walk in together, they come out hey. some liquor. I'm like, man, he's paying for that shit. Fuck. Like, it's a. We, it, it, even people when we're commenting in the uh, nail salon, because you made a comment and everyone started laughing. Oh my god, because I can't be quiet with that shit. <laughs> and they all look You're at like, me and no, they no, start agreeing. No, he's like, you can't step up in that truck like that, your balls are going to fall out or something. I did. <laughs> 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 I forgot I said that because I embarrassed the fuck out of her. I'll tell you what. Because this, this thing had a, a skirt on like this this long. And the truck was high. And I'm like, that thing's balls are going to fall out. And I said it out loud. I didn't and then a mom and her daughter would start cracking up. They're like, yeah, we're just trying to be polite. <laughs> there ain't no polite with me. I went... I work in Rushville, you know that. Yeah. At Intel. Uh-huh. Me and my boss and a couple of us guys went to Fishman downtown. Mm -hmm. Sitting there, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. just bullshit by the door. I'll be damned if this fucking dude that come in with some short shorts, long, very long hair, real thin. And Did you get her number? Uh, no, because it was a dude. <laughs> but I didn't even recognize it at first, you know what I mean? My buddy goes, hey, man, look at that chick walking in. I'm like, what? I look, and I said, no, that ain't that chick. That's a dude. But no, that's, that's a chick. No, that's a dude. Check the Adam's apple. So, I always do. But anyway, <laughs> when he went up to the bar, he said something to him. I can't remember what they said. I don't know if he, it was hot day. I don't know if he asked if he could stand there for a minute or whatever, whatever. Oh, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then he turns around and walks out. I was like, oh, my God. This is some fucked up shit. That's like, a man, baby. this is what baby. I'm talking about <laughs> with society today. There's too many fucking things going on. And too many. <laughs> it just fucks your world up. Yep, sure does. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Boy, uh, we 34 minutes in. I think we've had a very damn good video. And I think we're going to... She's done with her drink? I've been done. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there we go. Cheers to you, too. I don't think you need... Uh, I'm McStud. Big American Gold. I don't know. Uh, no. After what we just talked about, he might. Uh, I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McSudden. And I'm the Mexican. And we will catch you bitches tomorrow for a throat pounding Thursday because Mrs. McSudden loves to go skull fuck. Deuces, bitches. Hey.